Welcome to my collective hall. Hello everybody, my name is Jane. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a very mini, mini, mini collective haul that I wanted to bring to you guys. I got a few new things that I want to share it with my ladies of Chic. Thank you so much for joining me. And for those of you who are new, newly subscribed, thank you so much. And for those of you who are not yet subscribed, come join us ladies of Chic. The first item, item I'm going to start with is going to be this top that I purchased from Amazon. I don't know if you guys seen the last collective haul, but there was a yellow top that I purchased from Amazon. This is the same type of top, except that I purchased it in a navy blue with stripes. And you know, guys, I love navy blue, especially as we get older. It's a softer color on the skin. Um, it, it's a substitute for black. Navy blue is a new black. And so I know some of us, we love whole black ensembles, but as we get older, navy blue is a more complimentary and a more flattering, chic, juge color, okay? And so this top was like $16 from Amazon. And I got the idea from this top from Reese. These pants are Reese. Before I talk about these pants, Reese makes the most beautiful off the shoulder, one shoulder on, one shoulder off top, but they're very pricey. And so I seen this top on Reese and I said, you know what, let me go on Amazon and just see if I can type my in Reese dupe and see if they have something um, along those lines. And sure enough, there it was. And they offered them in an array of colors. This top is ribbed. If you all can see on the camera, it's a ribbed top. And the quality is very good. Um, sometimes Reese sells quali quality things similar to this. And they charge a lot of money for it. And so why not? Let's try to save where we can and still look very chic. These pants are Reese pants. I ordered these pants because of the pants that I bought before, the camel color pants from Reese um, that I bought before. Um, and I thought they were going to be very similar, almost like a jogger, heavy jogger material, but they're not. These are like a, maybe a nylon material, maybe nylon and cotton mixed material because they... They move a lot, they're very flowy, but I got I got it confused because of the jaw drawstring and the other pants had the drawstring. Nevertheless, I am quite satisfied with these pants. Um, I like the way they fit, they will fit a little better once I leave the cakes, cookies, and pies alone, but that is another conversation of chic that we'll have later, okay? And um, I like the fact that they're drawstring so that if I eat, You know what happens to the waist. They're still okay. And so this is a completed, or not completed reassemble ensemble, but this is a complete look. I have on my uh, Monica Venator, no, Monica Venator ring, Miranda Fry earrings. And I'm gonna tell you between the two, I like Monica Venator, but I think Miranda Fry is my sheep. If you know what I mean. I really love her pieces. She has quality pieces. I love my um, Monica Venator too, but you know what I'm saying. Sometimes something is our chic, something is, our, is not our chic. It's your own chic. You decide. And then I paired it with these Zara pumps. They are an ombre pump that I purchased a little while ago. They go from a white to a gray to a navy blue. And I'm going to grab on this or grab this Aldo bag that I picked up many, many moons ago. Sorry, has gold hardware. I love gold because gold is complementary to my skin tone. And this is going to be the completed ensemble. Okay, so this next ensemble is hot. It is a chic of hot. Red hot, that is. This outfit I purchased from Tracy Nicole. She is a black designer. I've seen her on Instagram many times presenting these beautiful outfits that are very simplistic but very classy and chic in style. And I clicked on her link and they were quite expensive for my taste. And so lo and behold, one day I clicked and there was a sale. So you know I had to grab it, okay? There was a sale. And so I was excited to get these things because I wanted to see the quality of Tracy Nicole. I wanted to see the quality of her things because I've been seeing it over and over again 
And what do I have to say about the quality? It is excellent. This is almost like a t-shirt material, but it is a very thick, elevated, excellent t-shirt mater material. It's a very thick. Um, I wish you guys could feel it. It's weighted. It's just good. She did an excellent job. The, the top is off the shoulder. You can wear it just regular as such, but you know we like a little off the shoulder jewels, a little, jewels, a little off the shoulder chic. We love it because it is very feminine and it adds an element of femininity without showing too much, if you know what I mean. Then I paired it with these shorts, these Palazzo, I guess they're Palazzo shorts, and it comes with a belt, but I chose to remove the belt. Um, but she has also pants and she has a long skirt and something, I wish I would have gotten the pants. Um, I do love the shorts, but I'm really not a short person, so you have to know what type of person you are, but I'm definitely going to wear these. I love the fact that they match perfectly. Sometimes we buy sets and they don't match perfectly, but these do. And they have this piping or this extra material right down the front that has a little zhuzh as well as in the back. And it has pockets. Oh my gosh. It has pockets, darling. Don't we love pockets? The outer portion of the shirt, if you guys can see, it comes in like a V, a little slight V in the back, which adds a little extra zhuzh. She just did a fantastic job in kudos to the chic of Tracy Nicole, okay? And this is going to be the completed look. I'm going to grab my kiss of a purse. Okay, I'm gonna grab this $15 purse that I picked up from the flea market. I'm gonna grab my Troy Birch sunglasses and we have these no-name shoes on that complement the outfit you just so and we are ready to go. These last two items, oh my gosh. Let me see if I can convey to you how I feel by the way I stand. Anyway, moving on. I love this outfit. I feel so very chic, juged, a lady of chic. Can you tell by the way I'm moving my hands? Okay, let's start with the skirt first. This skirt is actually from Amazon. It's a it's a nod to like a 1950s skirt. I love the length of it. It is past the knee. That is my length. That is my chic, okay? I love the fact that it has pleating on the side and it has this little bar with the buttons on the side. I love that it is navy blue. It came in many different colors. It has spandex in it, which is not my chic or my juge. Um, but it, it does make it easier to walk in, to move in when it does have that spandex. And it's almost like a rayon material because it moves very easily. It's flowy. And it has a zipper in the back, yeah, on the side. The zipper is on the side, um, if you could see. And the reason why I'm not a fan of spandex is because it tends to, on my derriere, just, you know. So I usually wear things that, things that go over the skirt because I don't want anything to bring too much attention to the derriere. This top, oh my gosh. This top is by a designer from Thailand called Poem Bangkok. He makes the most exquisite and delightful pieces. I was referred to him, I like to think she referred him to me, by the chic maven, Kristen. And if you guys watch her, she is, oh my gosh, she's flawless. She is beautiful and she wears beautiful clothing and beautiful pieces. And she talked about this designer. And so I said, let me see, let me go on their website. The things are very pricey, but one or two pieces a year, you could save up. It's worth the investment. This garment is impeccably made. It has boning um, around the waist part. It fits like a glove as if, as if he sewed it with me in it. The ruching of the sleeves, the quality of the material, the buttons down the front, which are not functional buttons, but that is quite all right. The back, it zips up the back and it has an invisible zipper it's off the shoulder, which adds a little zhuzh, has a little peep here without being too much of a peep. I love this top. I love this designer. A warning of caution. P 
he does not accept refunds or exchanges or refunds. So if you order something for, from him, take your measurements, pay attention to the sizing. This is actually a size 40 in his sizing. That is the largest size you can get is a, is a size 40. And I tend to wear size two at the top. So his things are quite small. They're made quite small. But from a Thailand perspective, the Thailand women, they are very small and petite. So that is not so small for them. But for us, yes, it is small. Okay, so a whole situation happened. As you can see, my hair is different. It's a whole nother day. My camera died and then it decided to want to do some type of update or something. And I didn't know how to fix it. And so it was a whole situation, but now I'm back. And I don't even know where I left off. Um, I didn't look at the other videos that I had previously recorded. So I don't know where I left off. I believe I told you guys that this was a, a poem Bangkok uh, creation and how much I love, love this designer. And this designer was referred to me. I like to think she referred her to me from the chic maven. And she is, oh, oh my gosh. She is très chic. She is beautiful. And so anything that she refers, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have got to check this designer out. The price, the pieces are very pricey, but if you purchase maybe one or two a year and you purchase wisely, this is something, this is a piece that is going to last you for 20 years, as long as we can still get into it, if you know what I mean. And so I love the way it's off the shoulder. I usually wear a size two uh, on the top part of my body. And uh, this is a size 40, which is the largest size that he makes. Uh, he's based in Thailand, I believe. So, you know, Asian women are very, very small and petite. They are so, so very cute. And so this is a size 40. I probably could have gotten away with a 38, but the size 40 is just fine because I plan on losing a few pounds. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I should have gotten a size 38, but that's okay. And I paired it with this because I like a high low. So if I have a expensive piece on, I'm always going to pair it with something low. Um, I rarely, if ever, wear a complete ensemble that is head to toe high looks or high chic. And so I always pair it with um, a low piece. And it's like, why? Why pair it with another high piece when this piece, this elevated high piece, is going to elevate the skirt anyway? And so this is from Amazon, actually, and I believe it's like $20. And it's like a stretchy material. Um, I love the way it fits very well as uh, with my shape. It's very hard to find pencil skirts that fits around the waist. This one fits because it has a lot of stretch. For that reason, uh, I don't tend to wear these type of skirts that have a lot of stretch because they are on my behind and I do not like that. But because this comes out a little low, it covers a little jujing going on back there, if you know what I mean. I paired up my Gianni Beanie, Gianni Beanie shoes that I purchased from Macy's. And I'm going to grab my Aldo clutch. And if I'm going out on a date, this is what I'm going to wear, darling. Okay? So this is going to be the completed ensemble. So I want to thank you so much for joining me for this week's Little Mini Haul. Again, my name is Jay. Please like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell. And let me know down in the comments which outfit is your chic, is your juge. If you're going to be purchasing anything that would be fantabulous, please let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys have a fantabulous weekend. Again, my name is Jay. Thank you so much for watching.